What's up YouTube? So this is a Xcode tutorial on how to detect the first launch in an application. So if you want to perform a certain action the only the first time an app is launched, this is the tutorial for you. So just go ahead into Xcode and start a new project. Um, a single view is fine. I'm just going to call it first, or first launch. Um, you can call it whatever you want and save it wherever. And it's creating that there. So you're going to want to head into the viewcontroller.m and just put a few enter lines down there. Now we're going to have if um, open bracket, open bracket, ns user defaults, standard user defaults, bool for key. Uh, we're going to call this key first launch. Um, close that bracket, close parentheses, hit enter. Now do open bracket, open bracket, or open bracket, close bracket, do an else, and open bracket there. So this is basically checking the value of this Boolean, which can either be set to on or off. It's just checking the value. And so by default, because we haven't set a value for this key yet, the default will be no. So it'll default the first time to here, so now we're going to have to set it back to at the end of this code. So you're going to want to place your code here, place code here, whatever you want, whatever action you want to perform on the first launch, you want to put it there. And now we're going to have NS user defaults again, standard user defaults, um, set bool. We're going to set it to yes for key. It's going to be the same key that we had up here. So it knows which key we're talking about. And then we're going to have to synchronize that so it saves it in the settings synchronize and so in here because this defaults to no the first time it'll automatically jump to this statement and once it gets it'll do your code that's right here and then once it gets to the end it'll set it to yes so the next time the app is launched it'll default to here to this if statement this will be true because it is bool for key it'll be yes and it'll do whatever is in between these brackets which it doesn't really matter it won't perform anything so that's kind of what we're going for we're only going for it performing here and then every other time it'll just perform whatever is in these two brackets which is nothing so it won't perform anything um, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of test code so just something simple self dot view dot background color and I'm gonna set it to UI color uh, red color there you go now we're gonna build and run and see if it works Okay, so it's starting up now. So as you can see, it changed, it performed this code that's in here, and it changed the background color to red, and now let's run it again. And this time it should have just the default gray background, see? And so every time after this, it'll just have the default gray, but because it was that first launch, um, it set the background color to red. So that's basically how you do it. It's really simple, and you can use this for anything. You can put whatever code you want here. Um, but that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Use this code however you want. I'll have links in the description, of course. And thanks for watching. See you later. Source code for this project, as well as the code for all my other iPhone SDK tutorials, can be found on xcode.iminicrispy.com.